Hi, it's Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style coming to answer your colour and style question. I dread the thought of looking cheap. I'd like to think I do not, but I don't know because I just do my best. What helps someone look expensive beyond being rich? Which is also subjective, but I'm definitely not rich. So things that make garments look cheap are things like a poor quality construction. If you can see like large stitches and they're very obvious on the garment and then they've run out of thread and then they've gone back over and you can see where the stitches have been, you know, run over, that's a sign of a poor quality garment. Um, so it tends to look cheaper. Also poor quality fabrics. So look for better quality fabrics. Generally you'll find anything with three or less so two is often good uh, product, uh, fibers. Um, one fiber can be good as well. One or two fibers, three or less. As soon as we get to four or five different fibers, the garment won't wear well and that'll look cheap really quickly. And they'll sometimes do this where with a knit, where they'll put like, it, there might be a bit of nylon, a bit of acrylic, a bit of wool, and then they'll, you know, a bit of, you know, elastane. And then they'll chuck a tiny bit of cashmere in there to say it's a cashmere jumper. When in fact, there's a minuscule amount of cashmere in there. And what'll happen is because of all the other fibers in the big mix that you've got there, it starts to peel really easily and it doesn't wash well and it doesn't wear well. So you think of three or less fibers. Three is your maximum number of different fibers in a garment for the garment to wear better. Look at things like the tightness of the weave. It's a bit like when we're looking at bed sheets that we know that a thousand thread count is a much closer weave and a higher quality thread count sheet than a 200 thread count or a 180 thread count. And you can even see when you see the cheap sheets, you can see this, the air between or the space between the, the cotton as it's, you know, the warp and the weft as it is woven uh, versus those expensive sheets. What we are seeing is it's, it's all very dense. And so look for the same things. When you see a cheap fabric and you'll know when you look at it the fabric you just go oh, that fabric looks cheap and it often has a cheap feel to it just stay away from cheap fabrics look for so the finish on garments the fit of your garments that's another thing it doesn't matter how expensive it is if the fit doesn't fit it will always look cheaper than if it fits well and so this is where sometimes an alteration makes a huge difference. When something fits you well, it looks more made for you. It looks more bespoke. And so therefore it has a higher, more expensive look about it. Be wary of things that have got pilled. And this is why that fabric is really important. So when something gets pilled, it gets um, stains or it just, it starts looking worn. Uh, it's going to look cheap as well. So things like construction and fabric are two really key things. Be aware of big things, like gaudy patterns, which are going to date really quickly, also tend to look cheap. So when we think about what are the classic patterns, something like a Breton stripe is a very classic pattern. And it may not be expensive, but it doesn't ever look cheap in the same way as whatever is the latest, you know, floral print or whatever it might be, that could date more quickly, or if there's a particular print that's in pattern that's in fashion. Um, so there's a bunch of different things we can think about. Uh, and looking, even things for like accessories, don't like avoid plastic, go for glass or metal uh, rather than plastic, but then don't go for something that's plated that when it wears off, it looks, you know, it looks cheap again. Um, often too, you know, like too much going on can start to look cheap, but sometimes you might get a more expensive garment. And this is where your personality comes into it, where you may like something more interesting. And so it's in the construction. Is it done well or is it done so it looks cheap? And this is why often classic clothes do look, you know, more, you know, kind of more sophisticated because they are simpler. They're more structured, you know, looking at the seams on shoulders that if you've got puckering and stuff like that on the, in, in any kind of, uh, you know, around necklines, if it's, if it's a cheap construction, you'll get a bit of puckering there. Look at how patterns line up. So if you've got, say, a checked shirt uh, and there's pockets or something on it, how does the stripe from one piece hit the next one or even the side? So if you've got some sort of check and, and when they've sewn them together, they've not matched those stripes up. Instead, they're more like that. That just makes the garment look cheaper as well. So how patterns fit together from one piece to the next is another little thing to check out um, to make something look more expensive. So really, you know, fit, fabric, construction are your big things as far as cheap for expensive um, and how they look. And then just having things that suit you. When clothes look like they're a representation of your personality, when they are 
expressing who you are, they always look better quality because it they suit you. They're in harmony with you. They're in balance with you versus when you put on something that is unrelated to you, it will stand out more and it will be more obvious. And so it never looks as good because it looks like you don't know yourself. And that's something that might like feel a little bit cheap too. So there are a few little things to think about if you're thinking about what looks cheaper and what looks more expensive. And hopefully you've got a few tips here today. And of course, if you want to know more about the exact colors that suit you and what suits your shape and what you should really be looking for and when body shape changes and how to adjust to those things, all that's inside my Seven Steps of Style program. So if you are looking for the style education, that actually is developed around you and your uniqueness, not trying to fit you into a box, then this is the program for you. So head over to the blog, check out Discover My Programs and look at Seven Steps to Style. And I'll be there to help you really find what works exactly for you now with the body you have today, the coloring you have today, um, for the person you are today. Bye for now.